Hello friends, it's Jim O'Rear. Today, we are going over to the Magic Kingdom at Walt Disney World. We are going to take a look at Cinderella's Royal Table. This is one of the most sought after dining reservations to get over there because one, it's inside the castle. Two, it's fine signature dining, so the food is really good. And three, it's dining with a lot of Disney princesses. So, it is very popular and very hard to get. It's also fairly expensive. So, if you have been curious about what the experience is like at Cinderella's Royal Table, if it's worth the money, we are going to go over there, give you a look at the food, at the experience, kind of what to expect, and then you can decide for yourself. So take a look at Cinderella's Royal Table. If you've ever wanted to go inside Cinderella Castle at Walt Disney World, you can do that. Cinderella's Royal Table is a princess dining experience inside the castle where you can go in there and have breakfast, dinner, lunch, whatever with a lot of the Disney princesses. And when you first enter the castle, you go into a, uh, a fairly large lobby or foyer type area and there are photographers and stuff there to take pictures with you and Cinderella as Cinderella greets you and welcomes you into the castle. And uh, it's great. It's it's just like you would expect a Disney castle to be. <laughs> and uh, you can get a nice photo with Cinderella right there. And then after you have your photo with Cinderella, you're gonna go upstairs in the castle up to the dining room. And uh, here's a lovely view from upstairs of Cinderella. But in the dining room, the dining room is not all that large, but this is what it looks like. It is a, uh, it's a couple layers. There's a little lower level and then a slightly elevated level and uh, kind of circular. You can see out the windows there. So if fireworks are going off, you get a lot of the flashes and stuff like that. And let's take a look at the menu. It's a little pricey, $84 for adults, $49 for children. This is for dinner. And you get an appetizer, which is, you know, one of these items here. You also get the choice of an entree and they have several different entrees there and then you also get a dessert for that and this is fine signature dining so the food is really really good there's also a children's menu there's a um, you know a menu for people with allergies and things like that and a ton 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 of alcohol choices and themed like the castle flight the stepsisters flight bell of the ball themed after cinderella so a lot of fun things i'm not going to show you all of the alcoholic choices because the list goes on and on and on but speaking of alcoholic choices we did have this right here this is actually a mimosa with uncle nearest 1884 premium whiskey yep that is a whiskey mimosa Mmm. Now, a big draw to eating here, especially for the kids, are um, is that there's lots of princesses inside Cinderella's castle. Not 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 just Cinderella, but there's Aurora, there's Ariel from Little Mermaid, um, Jasmine from Aladdin pops up, and um, there are more. There's uh, there's uh, her name's not coming to me from Brave. Um, <laughs> But uh, they wander around from table to table and visit with families and interact and take photos and, you know, sign autograph books and things like that. And it's just, it's a, it's a fun dining experience. So, so that's a huge draw is one, eating inside the castle and two, all the princesses. Now let's look at a few of the appetizers. This is the castle salad. It's a mixture of romaine, Brussels sprouts, goat cheese, seasonal vegetables, and green goddess dressing all kind of chopped up and mixed together and it's a very unusual salad there's also the braised beef and this is beef with a uh, carrot puree some jam and horseradish and that beef just it it falls apart it just melts when you eat it also the chilled jumbo shrimp it has an avocado mousse underneath it as well as some crispy peppers and micro cilantro and that shrimp is really, really good, especially when you mix it there. Now for uh, entrees, 
This is the marinated grilled chicken, and that's uh, chicken with a uh, wild mushroom and Parmesan risotto, uh, roasted fennel, and a black truffle butter. So good, really, really good. And this is the um, filet, and it's a potato pave, uh, roasted seasonal vegetables, and a house-made steak sauce. And again, that, I mean, you can cut that steak with a butter knife. And this is what medium looks like. If you're curious, is you know, medium, rare, uh, whatever. That's medium, and it is nice and pink all the way through. Now, as far as desserts, this is the cheesecake, and then it comes with seasonal flavored garnishes, and this one has, you know, some raspberry and blueberries and stuff like that. It's, it's cheesecake. And, uh, and then this is an interesting one. The clock strikes 12. Cinderella themed dessert, which is a dark chocolate mousse. It has a, a caramel and crunchy praline center and it is served with a chocolate sauce and a hazelnut gelato. And that's really yummy. The chocolate is very strong though. It's a very strong chocolate. Now, all kinds of fun things happen in the castle, you know, as well as the princesses. Occasionally you're going to get this uh, crazy light show going on to which you can use your wishing star and have fun with that and uh and also before you go they're gonna bring you either a sword or a little princess wand as a as a souvenir also so lots of fun there uh the food again is really good it's the signature dining location so the food is really really well prepared um you get the castle experience as well as tons of photo opportunities and instagrammable moments with the princesses um fun for the family a little pricey but you know hey if you're if you're here you need to do it at least once there you go. That's a look at Cinderella's Royal Table at the Magic Kingdom in Walt Disney World. We've eaten there a couple of times, and it's been very good. Very, very good uh, each time that we've been there. And uh, it's, it's fun. It's very cool to be inside the castle. It's, uh, it's kind of a novelty thing, but it is very expensive. So it may just be a one-time thing for you, but I do recommend doing it at, at, at least once. Uh, you, you need to eat inside the castle and, and try out their food. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you have, click that like button to let the powers that be know that you like the video. And while you're at it, click on follow or subscribe and you'll be notified when I upload new videos. So thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.